Let's face it, time travel doesn't make a lick of sense, but that's precisely why it's a perfect match for an over-the-top fantasy JRPG, and Chris Tales blends that nonsense smoothie to great effect. Manipulating the past, present, and future to solve puzzles, defeat enemies, and change destinies is awesome when it clicks. Unfortunately, Chris Tales' repetitive turn-based combat felt more like I was trapped in the most boring time loop. But even so, its timeless story, quirky characters, and effortless charm still managed to be a mostly fun ride. Chris Tales' otherworldly fantasy setting could have been taken straight out of a children's storybook. It's filled with talking frogs, weird robot thingies, and time mages that no one seems at all concerned with or even impressed by. Manners! You're speaking to a revered time mage. Everything about the world is delightfully strange, from the fact that people use marbles as currency to the strange mother superior witches that exist in every town to help raise the children, or something. You'll travel through monster-infested salt mines, visit a city inside an active volcano, and sail around in a giant metal woman's shoe. It's one of the weirdest settings I've seen, and yet everything had me nodding along like it all made perfect sense together. The main character, Chris Bell, is your typical bright-eyed, innocent, and unflappably optimistic protagonist who goes around solving everyone's problems without a second thought as to why. Along the way, she meets an immortal child time mage, an anime robot, and some lady who pulls random weapons out of a bottomless bag like a murderous Mary Poppins. The cast is universally awesome, whether they're a main character or a supporting player given time to shine. If Chris Tales has one standout feature though, it's the incredibly rewarding and unique use of time travel and time manipulation that sits in the center of everything you do. Time-based shenanigans are both a plot device and a gameplay hook, and many areas are actually split to simultaneously show the past, present, and future at once. Those can then be interacted with to complete puzzles and gain a greater understanding of the world and its characters. In one city, I noticed an area had the grim fate of eventually becoming submerged underwater. But, over the course of an entirely optional side quest, I saved someone's life who vowed to fix the city's flooding problems, which changed that outcome and opened up new ways for me to interact with the location. Seeing that direct cause and effect so quickly makes Chris Tales' side quests stand out from your typical RPG, and impactful moments like this are frequently some of its best. Although, for a game about time travel, it sure likes to waste a lot of yours. Your adorable frog friend Matthias fills the JRPG role of the animal mascot and wise guide, and he's necessary to complete most time manipulation puzzles. Frustratingly, however, he hops along behind you incredibly slowly, and attempting to time travel before he's caught up results in an obnoxious pop-up window. How long does it take for Matthias to catch up, you ask? It takes this long. While the time travel mechanics are otherwise a joy when exploring the world, how they're implemented in Chris Tales' bland and repetitive turn-based combat is far less exciting. Early on in the adventure, you're introduced to some really unique concepts that make clever use of Chris Bell's ability to manipulate time. For example, in an early boss encounter, you have to attack a heavily armored character with water attacks in the present, then send them into the future where their armor has rusted away due to prolonged water damage. You might assume that this early example is just the tip of the iceberg for all the interesting ways one might manipulate time to their advantage, but it's actually more like an ice cube. After the first handful of tutorial encounters, you'll have experienced nearly all the tricks in the book, and their use thereafter introduces very few new twists. It's such a massive missed opportunity compared to how well time travel is used outside of combat. Combat encounters don't just repeat the same time travel moves either. They also reuse the same few enemy types. Simple enemies like wolves and slimes are just given a fresh coat of paint or a new elemental remix in each area and thrown in your path time and time again. Sadly, the initially exciting bosses suffer the same fate too, with higher health and damage numbers usually just resulting in mind-numbingly boring and low-stakes battles of attrition. 
This pile of missteps is an unfortunate miss because the world outside of Chris Tales' battles is genuinely lovely, but you spend so much of your time in combat that its shortcomings are felt constantly. By the time I reached the end credits after almost 50 hours, I was glad to be done with its bland battle system, which is a shame when I was still enjoying the story itself. Chris Tales tells a charming JRPG tale in a gorgeous and weird world, but it's hobbled by incredibly monotonous combat. Its battles undoubtedly overstay their welcome, but this unique odyssey still manages to shine through them a bit thanks to its style, characters, and inspired non-combat time travel mechanics that make it memorable. For more RPGs, check out our reviews of Wildermyth or Monster Hunter Stories 2. And for everything else, stick with IGN.